Last time on Nancy Drew, Shadow at Water's Edge. I'm staying at the Rio Con Hie. Something really strange is going on here. Don't tell me a lie now. This is a joke? No, I promise. It's the truth. I saw your book. I thought maybe you could help. Honey, whoever you are, my best advice to you is to pack your bags and head back to wherever it is y'all come from. I'm not leaving until I figure out what's really going on here. When we first walked in the door, my wife told me she had a bad feeling about this place. But no, I told her she was being unreasonable. Well, whatever it is that's going on down here, we are not putting up with it anymore. That thing you left in our room. No one should ever see something like that. I want my money back. There was nothing there. And I want to see this place closed down. That was the last customer, wasn't it? Yes, Nancy. It's just you. So, make yourself comfortable. We are all here for you until something happens to scare you off too. I don't scare easily. I've heard that before. I still want to help. Help? You want to help? Look around you. This place is beyond help. It was spooky and lonely before... Everything that happened happened. And now... People come because they've heard it's haunted. They come here to be scared and even they can't take it. Hello? I need to translate this. Hmm, I need a way to open this envelope without anyone knowing I did. Stop! I've had it! You can't keep avoiding me! Leave me alone about this! No, you keep promising me you'll talk to me about moving, and every time I bring it up to you, you freak! It's not fair! Oh shit! Walk away! Just like always! Well, maybe I won't be here when you get back! Are things not going well with me walking you? As usual, no. But this time, a little worse than usual. I know what happened to your mother. I told you to... It was an accident. I think you, all of you, blame yourselves. Because we were all here. We were all here that night and not one of us helped her. We all just let her die alone. But you didn't know. Leave me alone, Nancy. That Yurei comic looks interesting. I should check it out. Recording the site of a haunting might actually be a really good idea. I should look into that. What was that, just a minute ago? What do you mean? I saw something. It was the wind, the power lines, and shadows. This is nothing to worry about. Hello everyone, and welcome back to another episode of Nancy Drew Shadow at Water's Edge. Uh, so we left off here at the arcade area. We had gotten the caller, Kurosuke, and as well as we had read this comic. And now let's go ahead and go and give the caller uh, to Rentero to give... Um, to Suki. So I, after this, I'm gonna have to check again to see what else would we need to do. Um, oh yes, so the comic book, uh, 
gave us information about ghost readings, uh, getting ghost readings. So we will be uh, doing that. Hey. Let's see here. Do, do, do. Oh, here it is. I got the collar for Suki. I got that collar for Suki. Oh, Nancy san, you are the best guest we've ever oh, had. Shucks. I'm going to go give this to her now. Please, excuse me. Okay, now while he does that, we can snoop his place and as well as get the uh, device. Oh. No, never mind. Oh, no, no, no. Never mind. We talked to him, he, and he lets us have the device to use. So, never mind. But we can soup, soup, snoop his place. And there's a card there. And I think that's it for now. But yeah, we'll have to talk to him about it and, um, okay. and he will let us use it. Let's see if we need to talk to her at all. Hello, Nancy-san. Let's see. Can you tell me a little about Kasumi? She would have been quite fond of you. Why is that? She always loved people who think for themselves. And she loved stubbornness. Hey! That is not always a bad quality, Nancy-san. Kasumi herself is very stubborn, was very stubborn, but it made her the most beloved of the children in her school when she was young. She could never stand to see injustice done to others. It made me very proud of her, but that also has its bad side. How so? I'm sorry. I shouldn't bore you. You must not worry about these things, Nancy-san. Mm-hmm. So, <laughs> I was uh, playing Fallout 4 the other day, and um, I was with Nick Valentine, and we went on uh, a case to find these parents' uh, daughter, and her name is Kasumi, and I was like, oh my gosh, and that's when you, um, when you go on that mission, you also meet uh, Nick's brother, um, uh, his name is Face My Mind, but he... <laughs> He says, Kasumi is here. And <laughs> she says, Kasumi is here at one point in the game. I don't remember if we, if she's already said it or not. But it made me think of that. I was like, oh my gosh. <laughs> what happened the night Kasumi died? It is not always good to be so curious, Nancy-san. Yeah, a little aggressive there. Do you remember <laughs> when Savannah Woodham visited? I don't recognize the name. Yeah, okay. She's yeah, the one right. who wrote about I the Ryokan. I said, I do not know who she is. Have you been to Yumi's bento stand? No. Why not? I taught her how to cook for many years. I should not have to sit on the train to try her bento. Yeah, she's got a point. So basically, she can make the same thing at home. Save some money, you know. I should go. I'll talk to you later. Goodbye. Alrighty. Let's see about going to talk to Renshiro now. Hey. Sup. Um. Hmm. I guess not yet. I'll talk to you later. Bye. When? Huh. I would have thought we would have been a we would have been able to. Oh well, uh, I guess maybe I have to run into like do something, one more thing or something. I don't know. Hi. Is Suki wearing a new collar? Yes. Doesn't it look perfect? Lintelo must have really put some thought into this. It fits perfectly and it goes so well with her eyes. He can be so thoughtful sometimes. I think it's time for me to do something nice for him. So it must be the end of the uh, movie right now. So since things are doing okay. <laughs> so how are things between you and Rintaro now? Couldn't be better. I'll stop bugging you now. Bye. Alrighty. 
Let's see here. I uh, got that. Did that. Find a way to open the seal envelope. Um, okay, I know what to do with that. Um, figure out the password. Okay, that's in the envelope. Uh, find a computer copy. Okay, we are still working on that. Um... Okay, um... I should be able to get that now. Hey! Um, I guess I I'll finished tell the that. Sudoku puzzle. Here you go! Thank you. Um... Hmm. I'm back for more nanograms. Here you go! I'm done with another renograms puzzle. Here you go. Okay. I'll stop bugging you now. No, 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 no. Now that I'm thinking about it, I think we talk to Savannah first about it and then talk to him. Savannah, Savannah, Savannah. Ooh, Logan na, na. speaking. Is this Nancy? Yes. I know, that's probably... Great! That's... I'm so glad you called. Why? So you can hang up on me again? Oh, that. Don't take that personally. I'm an assistant. My job mostly consists of hanging up on people. That and remembering birthdays. I met your friend Bess, and this is probably awkward, but I know we haven't gotten off to the best start. But I'm really not a bad guy, and she's really cute. And maybe you could help a dude mm -hmm. out? All right. What? Well, she said she's going to be hanging around the expo, and maybe you could, like... Tell me about what she likes, or maybe give me some idea of what I might Outfits say to fill the awkward pause. And you may have noticed, but for the last while I've been with Savannah, most of my conversations have been about ten seconds long, and they usually end up with me hanging up on someone, and I don't think that's going to cut it. Oh, I see. No. Do you think you could help? Well, I was talking to her, and she really wants a copy of Savannah's book. Oh, I see what you did there. Okay. As a gesture of goodwill, I'll do it. And Nancy, I'm sorry I hung up on you. That's okay. And Nancy, I might have to do it again. But should that happen, it's just business. Fine, Logan. Oh, Logan, Logan, Logan. But yeah, now that's kind of going through my head. Savannah Unana. I know, that's not the real words, but I used to work with a girl named Savannah, and I did that a few times, and she's like, yeah, people do that all the time to me, it's annoying. <laughs> so just a bugger, I would do it sometimes, and she'd just give me a smile, and a little smile, she's like, okay, yeah, whatever. Okay, so yeah, um, I do remember that we have to go to uh, Yumi's house, uh, to do, uh, to do the, um, whole outfit thing, um, because it is on her computer, and we do have the password for her computer, so, and as well as we can do it, and, uh, send it to our phone, and we can add a picture for each person, each contact, so, which is fun. I like it. It's kind of fun. There's not a whole lot to it, but I don't know. I just, I still find it fun to do. Um, oh, uh, actually I think it's this right here. <laughs> I didn't even have to look and double check at all. So Bess is kind of is kind of more on the girly side. So
since she since we are in Japan um oh, I kind of want to do this since it's something different but at the same time I kind of want to give her something else Like, I like this shirt and I like that skirt, but they don't go together. Uh... Okay, I think I'll go with that. Uh, let's give her some jewelry. Uh, let's remove the... I don't know. I'll leave them off. Alright, uh, I will say that is done. And return... Now I'm gonna do George. Now George is more of the tomboy. I think that's good. That will be George. Now let's do Yumi. And there's Yumi. And I'll do one of Savannah. Let's give her red hair. Oh, this hairstyle right here, of course it would be black, but, um, or like a dark brown, but it reminds me of, uh, Kashioka from Perfume. But yeah, <laughs> I like it. It reminds me of Kashioka. Alright, I'll say that's Savannah. Alrighty, so I got all my friends here. Uh, I'm going to send them off. Alright, I just sent all of the photos to my phone so I can do that. And as well as sent it to the friends. And I got text messages probably for the... Way to make a styling avatar. F phone fashion software is here to keep your whole contact list looking fashionable fly. See you on the runway. Like, oh my gosh. Totes, a dope, doors, whatever. I don't care. <laughs> okay, maybe not. So, let's see here. I'm going to change contacts. So, we'll go to options. And there's that one for Bess. Now we got a photo for Bess. George, there's George, Savannah, Unana, sorry, I, I can't help it, I'm sorry, I can't help it, there we go, there we go, okay, let's see here, oh, wait, I don't think I was supposed to send that to, I think I got ahead of myself, I don't think I was supposed to send uh, the photo of Bess to him yet for like the outfit. Um, I think I gotta call him again. I don't know. I wasn't fully paying attention to the conversation, surprisingly. I, I kind of got my mind thinking on something. Were you able to find a copy of the book? I right, did. This is when he says it, yeah. I send it, I need to ask you another favor. So I got ahead of, I my sound, uh, ahead of myself. <laughs> she said she was looking for the perfect outfit. I think that'd be a great gift, but I have no clue what to do in a clothing store. I sort of just freeze at the sight of hangers. I think it's genetic. I'll see what I can do. I know of a program that might be just the thing. Great, thanks. Okay, so I did get Bye. ahead of myself. Talk but to you later. we were going to need that program I knew soon. Since he had mentioned that he likes best. So I already have it. Uh, I just need to send it off. Alrighty, there we go. It is sent off. And this should be Logan. Thanks, Nancy. Sure thing, Logan. Sure thing. Alrighty. 
check. So That's now, done. uh, we just wait for the book. Let's go talk to Yumi, see if there's anything we can ask her, or anything she wants to say to us. I don't know. We'll see. Maybe we'll do more bento. I love your bento. I love bento. What's going on? <sighs> I'm ready to make more bento. I'm ready bento. to help with more bento. Yay. Okay. Let's see. So, let's say. Um, there's not to go there. Um, there is. Go there. Cat sandwich should we go here. Hmm. No, that's not right. Um, so let's put that in there. So that would go here. Cat sandwich would go here. The sandwich would go here. Um, the air rice would go here. And then the cat maybe there. Uh, right there. Um, last air there. Another successful yeah, yeah. order. Yeah, it's Fantastic. so much fun to do. Honestly, I love doing it. All right, let's see. I saw the article about what happened to your mother. I saw the article about what happened to your mother. I'm busy. Maybe you should go. It said that you were the first one to find her. That must have been very hard. I said I'm busy. That means leave me alone. Now. Can you come okay. back in a bit? I'll give you time. I'll give you space. I'm sorry. I, I, I'm sorry that I am. I'm, I'm so nosy. I, I, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I just, I, I, I just, you know. I, you know, want to help you. I have to be nosy to take out the mystery. Hey, back away from the door. That was rude. Oops, what am I doing? <laughs> Alright, so I guess we'll, we'll have to call, but come back later. Let's go... Um... Best ever. Perfect. Thanks. Thanks, Nancy. That's from the pictures of the avatars I made of them. I sent them, so. Hi. Bye. I'll let you go. Okay, see ya. I need to listen to ghost recordings. I need to record Hello. sounds and listen to them. I'll talk to you later. Can I please Peace get out. that? I'm gonna see if I can talk to Savannah. Uh, maybe I don't talk to Savannah. Maybe I still need to get like her book or something first, and then I can get that. Nancy, oh, cool. I got the picture you sent. I'm going to take it to that boutique she mentioned and let them do whatever it is they do. Good. So you'll be sending the book? Yeah. I was thinking I'd give it to Bess. Like, hey, here's that book you want, and since I'm here, let's get dinner. And I got you a present. <sighs> whatever works. But the sooner I get that book, the better. I'll let you go. Talk to you later. Okay. So, now we can wait for the book. I always forget I had to call him after sending him that pic. Um, before it will finally be probably be like sent I'll let off. you go. Okay, see ya. Okay, what to do now while we wait? Um... Let's see here. I guess we can go back to Yumi and see if she'll talk to us now. I need to translate. No, oh, you that. don't. I know what it is. I wasn't meaning to click on that. Yumi, I'm sorry. Can you, would you talk to me now? Can Can I get into some more of your uh, personal life? What's going on? Uh, I loved that picture of you and this. Love that last picture of you and Bess. I know, isn't that one great? Yeah, it's alright. No. <laughs> alright, let's see. I found Savannah's ghost book yeah, in the apartment. Yeah, what was that about? Can you tell me more about that? She's some sort of ghost hunter or something. I don't know much about it, okay? But she did a chapter on the Ryokan. Yeah, well, just because my grandmother believes in that junk doesn't mean I do. Why were you reading it? Oh, I like, I really like your apartment. It's I really nice. like your apartment. You do? Yes. Thanks. It's just a 1K. That's code around here for tiny and overpriced, but the location is great and it's mine. I love it. When did you move out of the Ryokan? The second I was old enough to sign a lease. Best decision I've ever made. No late night room service, 
No annoying tourists calling up at four in the morning. I adore that apartment. I wonder if it knows. I'm going to get it something nice today. A new doormat or something. <laughs> mm. uh, I got that picture you sent. How did you do all of the designs? I did it at the Purikura booth. They're everywhere around here. They're these picture mm -hmm. booths, and you get to choose decorations, and you can write out your own messages. Uh, yep. And Nancy broke it. We tried to take his photo, but Nancy broke it. That sounds pretty cool. I don't get it. That sounds pretty cool. It is. Everyone uses them. Keep an eye out, and Otto send you some more. Um, okay, now, we'll, okay, I, I guess we're just basically going to be, all yeah, we have to say to her one. is basically, hey, I like that picture you said, I like that picture you said, I like that picture that you said. last picture of you is great. <laughs> yeah, When I got I them, like, one. a long time ago, so I guess I couldn't say them say that a long time ago. Um, <gasps> I don't want to make more bento. I'm ready to help with more bento. Alright, let's see here. This is basically the same one as last time, just different. Huh, yeah, okay. This is really the same one as last time. At least the organization of it. There we go! Phew, it's busy here today. Fantastic! Alright, I'll go. I'll let I'll you go. go. I'll leave you See alone, you let you get back to work. I gotta get back. I need to finally get Savannah's book. Where's the book? No package yet? Hi. I'll talk to you later. Okay, see ya. See ya. Alright, uh, at this point, I'm not really sure what to do, except for wait for the book. Um, maybe I'll go to sleep. Um... Hi. And then maybe when I wake I'll up, stop the book will be here. Peace um. Out. Okay, she's what? out for the night. <sighs> okay. <gasps> Someone's been in here. It looks like whoever left those footprints walked right through the wall. Well, well, well. Can I learn that skill? <laughs> Is, do we have any more papers to grade? All right, let's grade Ooh, some homework. Oh, we do. Let's grade some homework. Yay. Okay, uh, the pig goes quack. Close, but no cigar. Um, my cat likes to hunt in the hay. I'm pretty sure... Well, I don't know. I mean... There could be, like, mice in the hay or something, and the cat goes after them. I, I don't know. I guess I'll give that... I, I don't know. The sheep eats hay. Yeah, but that's not how you say it. The, wait, the sheep eats hay. Yeah. Uh, a lamb is a baby horse. Mmm... No. Uh, the duck goes quack. Yes. Good job. My cat likes to hunt in the barn. That was probably supposed to be the actual sentence that they were supposed to probably do, but I'm like... Okay. Like, to me, there's no indication exactly what they're trying, what they're wanting them to write down, though, either, so... The hay eats horses. What world do you live in? What what world do you live in where the hay eats horses? Oh, that's a scary world. Oh, that's... No, 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 no. That's... Mm -mm. I'm good. I don't want to live in your world. A sheep is a baby lamb. Flip those two words around and you'd be correct. Uh, the duck goes quack. What, what is this? Is that, is this, the duck goes quack? Is it, is this the, uh, that little farm toy for toddlers? Oh, whoops! I 
excellent put no I'm sorry I'm sorry no no don't need to stamp that one again but they got it correct I didn't mean to do that my cat uh you know what I'm gonna give you a star for each other one okay but you actually got this I'm sorry I already did that one my cat likes to hunt in the barn a horse eats hay. A lamb is a baby sheep. You got them all correct. You are an A plus student. I am so sorry. I am so sorry. Uh, the cat goes quack. That'd be quite interesting to hear. If a, uh, if a cat actually goes quack, so, quack, that would be very interesting to hear. I would like to hear that. My lamb likes to hunt in the hay. The duck eats barn. A sheep is a baby horse. I want to visit this person's farm. This person's farm sounds very interesting. I, I want to come over. I I I'll pay you money. Like I want to come over and see your your barn, like your farm. Like that sounds very very interesting. The duck goes quack. That also saying that also makes me think of that one song. What does the fox say? <laughs> oh my gosh. Uh, my cat likes to hunt in the barn. The horse eats hay. You don't have to be. I'm sorry. This person's got it in all capitals. So it'd be more like the duck goes quack. My cat likes to hunt in the barn. The horse eats hay. A sheep is a baby lamb. Listen, kid. Listen. I can hear you. I can hear you. Okay? You're, you're good. You're good. I can hear you. <laughs> uh, okay. I don't know what else to do. Like... Maybe I should try... Did I try calling Savannah? Let me try calling Savannah again. Can't talk on my phone oh, now. Oh, yeah. You're too close, Yana, Yana, Yana. You're too close to someone. By all means, Nancy, you can uh, eavesdrop on everyone's conversation. But if someone drops in on your conversation, that's that a That wasn't big read no. before. Okay. Um... Should we take that as a threat and leave Nancy? I mean, we can check out. I don't. I. I. I, I I'm down for anything. Hello, Logan here. Uh, where's the book, Logan? I should go. I'll talk to you later. Talk to you later. Oh, wait a minute. Let me call Bess. He was going to give the book to Bess. Nancy, how's it going? Let me see. Uh, okay, let's tell them about the mirror. Let's just talk I to them. I looked in this mirror. And instead of seeing my reflection, I saw a ghostly image. Ugh, creepy. Cool. <laughs> Actually, I'm going to side with Bess on this one. No, I've heard about stuff like this before. There's a thing you can do to the glass to throw a false image, but it's a really fussy process. It's hard to do without breaking the mirror. Mm. Yeah, the mirror broke. So do you think it's possible it was rigged? More possible than the other option. True, true, true. There were watery footprints in my room that led straight into a wall. And they're Why gone Why are you still there? You've lost your mind. You know how in the scary movies you always want to yell, Don't go in that door! But they never can hear you? Yeah? Well, you can hear me, so don't go in that door! <laughs> oh. Call this mystery a wash and come stay at our hotel, which has a nice ghost-free view and a ghost-free pool and tiny overpriced ghost-free packets of peanuts. Hmm. That's a nice offer, but I think I'm getting close to figuring out what's going on here. Since you won't listen to reason, you're going to have to listen to George on this one. Thanks a lot, Bess. Unfortunately, I don't have a clue about what to do with this one. But Nancy, whatever's going on out there, be careful. I will, promise. Did you get the avatar I sent you, Bess? I love it! Did you get that paper doll I sent, George? I'm getting an outfit just like that one. Nice. 
I think there's something pretty strange about Rintaro. Yeah, the way Yumi tells it, he's about as weird as they come. Do you think he could be behind what's going on? Hard to say for sure. Well, he may be strange, but sometimes strange just means strange. True. That might sound it strange, but it's strangely true. Yumi sent me a great picture of you two. Oh, isn't that cool? I love the poor Kora booth here. I'll show you where a really great one is if you get done with your mystery before we have to head back home. I'm working on it. I promise I'll see you guys soon. Takai is really difficult to talk to sometimes. I think she might be hiding something. From what Yumi says, Takai may be a lot less sweet than she seems. How so? Yumi didn't really say, but I get the sense that she thinks Takai might be behind the hauntings. She told me that Takai never believed in the supernatural until recently, which seems a little suspicious to me. Yeah, or that means that she's just some, seen some things that is unusual to her. And, you know, I don't know. I had another strange run-in with a ghost here. What happened this time? I was in the hallway, and one by one, the door started yeah, to slam. Yeah, remember that. It interrupted and I me. I heard the sound of water dripping. Creepy. Just thinking about that, I'm not going to be able to sleep tonight. Not sure how you do it. It is a little creepy, I'll admit that. I just need to figure out how someone could do it. Good call. It could be pretty easily automated, I think. All right, I'm just going to ask from the head because really I'm not sure what to hint. do, you know, without the book. Uh, okay. Uh, oh, no help mind. at all. It's just Anything else? about the puzzles that I don't have to do. I'll let you go. Talk to you later. <sighs> I don't know what to do, guys. I think I'm just going to go ahead and have Nancy go to sleep. And... Uh, We'll see from there on what... I'm hoping... I don't think it can with this game, but some of the older Nancy Drew games, you... It's... It, how did... How it... How, it's, how they programmed it and everything, it... it it's... <sighs> if you don't do a certain something at a certain point, um, and I don't necessarily know, really know always what it what it is, and it's past that point and you didn't do it the game will not advance and you're and you have to start all over um unless you have a save just before that time period of what you needed to do you know then go back to that save but if you don't you have to start the game all over um i don't think i don't think this one did that um but i don't know i mean uh, the book has not come yet, and so, I don't know. Uh, so let me go to sleep, and hopefully, uh, because I thought I remember actually Bess calls, or George calls and says, hey, we got the book and stuff, and I'm waiting for that. I so hopefully so after she wakes already. up, hopefully they'll call. Yes! Nancy, we've got the book. <sighs> Great! So when do we see you? you? We'll give you the book. Well, I'm a little wrapped up right now. George, did we have a friend named Nancy Drew once? Yeah. Oh, I think so. Hard to say. The name sounds familiar. Was she the one with the magnifying glass or something? <laughs> hey. Just teasing. We'll send you the book. The faster you solve the mystery, the faster the three of us get to hit the town. Yep. Thanks. You know I can't wait. No problem. Anything else? Mmm, so Bess, what's the story with you and Logan? So, Bess, what's the story with you and Logan? Well, he asked me out on a date. See what I put up with for you? Such a liar! Nancy, she, she's such a liar! She really is. What you put up with, come on! You should have seen her when he asked her out. She looked like one of those terrible 70s paintings with the big eyes. All right, fine. I wouldn't go that far, but... Actually, I had a really nice time with him. We're going out again as soon as he's done researching the expo for Savannah. So, maybe you could put in a word with her about giving her assistant a break? Sure thing. I'll see what I can do. Anything I'll for let you get best. back to work. Bye, Nancy! Alright, finally! <sighs> 
At least it's not stuck and like I have to start all over. Alright, so now we just gotta wait. Um Okay, that um I gotta do the ghost recordings first. Um can I go ahead and do that or do I have to wait to get Savannah's book? Hey. Okay, I have to wait to get Savannah's book. I'll let you go. Catch you around. <sighs> See you later, alligator. Is there anything Hello, to Nancy say to her? Sana. Yes. Okay. I need to know. Do you believe the Ryokan is haunted? Yes, Nancy san. This isn't a trick someone is doing. Kasumi, she is still here. I can feel it. She's trapped and she's scared. And she's angry. Do you really believe that? When I was a girl, the most beautiful sparrow from the garden flew into my room. I had been trying to lure it in with seeds I'd stolen from the gardens for weeks. At first, I was so excited to have her in my room, but not for long. She couldn't find her way back out. She became very scared, threw herself into the walls in a panic. I was so worried she would die. She was so small and so frightened. I opened the windows wide and snuck out of the room to let her calm down. An hour passed, then two, three. I'd opened the door and still she'd be there, crashing into the glass trying so desperately to get free. Did she get out? Cosme is still here. I must help her. Okay, you've lost it, woman. I'm sorry. I'm very I had more questions for you, though. I never, like, did that as a kid, tried to lure, like, a bird or something into uh, the house, but I remember when I was a kid, we lived out in the middle of nowhere, and it was, um, I, th I believe this is, um, I think when I was homeschooled. And I, one morning, um, it was so nice outside uh, that my mom decided to open the door, the back door. And we had a sliding door. And she decided to go ahead and open the screen door, too. I woke up. I came out in the living room and I see this bird flying around in the house and I was like, uh, mom, there's a bird flying around the house and as soon as she came, comes out, it was able, look, thankfully was, uh, found the door again and flew out. I was like, yeah, you probably don't want to have the screen door open ever again. <sighs> or like leave it open ever again. Is Hi. it still not here? It seems like you and Rentaro were pretty close. Yes. We grew up together. I have a few memories before Lentaro, but not many. How long have you two been dating? I don't even know. A long time. You sound a little frustrated. Sometimes it's hard not to be with Lentaro. What do you mean? Never mind. I shouldn't be bothering you with this. It's not a bother. It's not a bother. It's just that... Yes. When he gets it in his mind <laughs> that he me. wants something, there's just no stopping him. He's been pressuring me to leave here. Why is that? He keeps saying it'll be good for me, but really, he's just being selfish. I think. Uh, I really don't know. He can be so sweet sometimes, and other times it's like there's only him in the world. Mm-hmm. Sounds like a jerk. Why does Takai think your him? mother's Seriously, ghost? Girl. Stop. I don't indulge her, and don't you do it either. So you don't believe it? That's my mother you're talking about, Nancy. You forget that. True. I'll stop True. bugging you now. See you later. It's like Harper in uh, Ghost of Thornton Hall. Like she said, she doesn't like how they have how they have portrayed. I use the right word. But anyway, her sister, as you know, this ghost that haunts and does all these scary things and all that, she's like, that's my sister still. You have to remember that. Hello, Nancy-san. 
Did you rewrite my name in red ink? What do you mean? The name scroll in my room. It's red now. It's... It's nothing to worry about. Sure. I'll have it removed. Isn't it a bad omen to have your name written in red? No. Just don't worry about it. It is nothing. Can I help you with anything else? What do you think about Rentaro and Miwako dating? Those two are so different. When they were children, you couldn't keep them in the same room. Always so much fighting. That has not changed. Except now, they say they're in love. Mm -hmm. I saw watery footprints in my room. It was very strange. You must be mistaken. No, I'm positive. No, it is not wise to joke about these things. I'm not. I'm not. I do not want to talk about it. Okay. Just because you don't I'll talk let about you it, go. Mean Come the again. Mm -hmm. Is the book here yet? I have a delivery for you. <laughs> here. Yes, finally. Thanks. Finally. Finally. Do you remember anything about Savannah, the paranormal author? That was a long time ago. Not really. She must have been here for a while if she was writing about the Ryokan. You don't remember anything? I remember that she asked too many insensitive questions. I was happy to see her go. Listen, you know I'm just trying to help. I'll let you get back to work. I need to know Bye. things if you want me to help you. All right, uh, finally got the book and we can finally read at the chapter and aw, it looks like there's a note to Bess from Logan. Aww. Bess, usually I bring flowers on a first date, but this time I brought a creepy book about ghosts. I hope your friend wasn't kidding about your wanting this book because otherwise uh, this date will probably be weird for both of us, Logan. Okay. So it was chapter seven. No, 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 sorry. Chapter six. That was about the Rhea Con. How much reading is there? Oh. Okay. Well. Japan to a girl who grew up barefoot on the front porch of a creaky old house in Savannah is just about the most exotic place there is on earth. Sometimes in the middle of a stormy night when the wind is whistling and the tree branches are uh, scratching at the windows, I feel like I am back at the Riacon Hie. On those nights, I often wish I'd never visited that charming looking inn on the outskirts of uh, Kyoto. The second I stepped inside the Ryokan's gate, I suddenly understood why I had been called in. For those of you who have never been in a haunted place, the feeling is unmistakable. Imagine the sensation of taking a rickety roller coaster through a dense fog. Now multiply that tenfold. The atmosphere inside the Ryokan, however, was even thicker. The inn was washed in an unearthly sense of cold that the fire put pit in the lobby couldn't touch. The whole structure radiated uncertainty and dread. Something terrible lived here. The inn was, and still is, run by a truly wonderful family, uh, Takai, Takai and her granddaughter, uh, Takai, Taka, Tak, I, I don't know. <laughs> and her granddaughter, um, Miwako, uh, took excellent care of Logan and I, but were both extremely uh, tight-lipped about the history of the Ryokan. A neighbor boy, uh, Rentaro, was able to sh shed a little light on the situation. The innkeeper's daughter, Kasumi, had 
recently died under mysterious circumstances. Ever since her death, the inn began to change rapidly for the worse. Um, I'm gonna just gonna call her Talk for short. Uh, Talk uh, had begun to worry that her daughter's um, your 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 I don't know. <sighs> you guys are probably cringing me right now. Going, oh my gosh, that's not it. <laughs> that's not how you pronounce it. Uh, was haunting the Riacon. I set up my equipment right away. Luckily, I had my in entire EVP kit at the ready. I placed the microphone in places where I left the where I felt the ghostliest uh, disturbances. By the fire pit in the lobby, behind the old cherry tree in the gardens, by both bathrooms. Both bathrooms. There's only one bathroom. And in the upstairs hallways. Sound travels very well in the old Recon, so my equipment picked up more conv conversations than usual but nothing supernatural hmm all right so this part right here if you want to read you can it looks like it's just about what evp readings are exactly all right at 2 a.m however that all changed the lights in my room suddenly flickered and cut off I rushed downstairs to my to my recording recorders. I couldn't hear a thing, but the recordings were off the charts. Before I could listen to the audio, I saw her, pale and thin, with long black hair, dripping muddy water, moving through the shadows. Despite my experience, I froze as she slipped out of sight. I stood there in the lobby until the sun finally came up, half hoping she would reappear, and the other half desperately hoping to never see her again. Uh, talk uh, woke me that afternoon. We had to we had to leave. Kasumi, she said, had changed her mind. Whatever faith Taka, uh, Tak, maybe I'll say Taka, Take, maybe, I don't, had in, uh, me the day before was now gone. I doubt I was the only one to see a ghost that the night before. I gave her my card and told her to call me back if she ever changes her mind. I doubt she will, and I have to admit I'm a little relieved. On the bus to the temple the next morning, I reviewed uh, the EVP tapes. What I heard sounded like a hundred voices repeating a single word in Japanese. I pulled out my translated phrase book. The word simply meant leave. Ooh. It's the kind of message you only want to hear once you're long gone. I still sometimes w worry about the Shimizu family and can't help but wonder what it must be like for them during the these long nights when the woman I saw in the shadows is awake. Fun. Okay. So now we should be able to get the recorder and be able to record those areas that she had mentioned in the book and hear, see if we can find and hear something being said or whatever. I don't know. Um, but we will find out in the next episode. If you all enjoyed this video, give this video one big thumbs up. And if you're new to the channel, welcome to Mandragander, and I encourage you to subscribe. And make sure you share this video with your friends and family. And I will see you all in the next video. Bye-bye!